Hello all, welcome back to my channel. This is Future Be here with another video and in this video I am recreating this nail set that you see down here below. But I'm gonna make it longer and I'm gonna use like some different colors so yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned for more. Oh and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Alright, so we're going to start off the way that we always do. I'm going to go ahead and apply a clear base under my nails. Before we get started, this nail set is going to be pretty simple and I think anybody can do it. I consider myself a beginner and I did it, so, you know, I think other people can too. <laughs> Anyways, so there are going to be several tricolor ombres in this nail set and I'm not going to make them perfect. So first on the pointer finger as well as the pinky finger, I'm going to go in with purple at the very bottom. It's going to be a thin layer of purple, just enough to get the color in place. And then above that, I'm going to go in with a pink and then the nail bed color is going to be a nude color. For the middle finger i'm gonna go in with pink at the bottom and then i'm going to do purple as the middle sort of color and then the nail bed color is going to be the same it will be a pink from mia secret the other colors that i'm going to be using are a combination of things from model ones and nail supply glamour for this nail set i'm also going to be using my nail supply glamour monomer the only product that I use in this one that I was kind of disappointed with, um, I was disappointed by my own fault because, you know, like, it is what it is. But the glitter that I'm going to be using on my thumb and my ring finger, it is a loose glitter, not an acrylic glitter. Therefore, I will be applying acrylic to my nails and then I will be placing the glitter into it and then I will have to go in and put some clear acrylic over the top of it the reason why it kind of disappointed me is because I don't like doing that <laughs> so the jar is pretty big it comes with a lot of glitter which is absolutely great right but I really wish that it was a glitter acrylic I think glitter acrylics are far easier to work with and like I think I'm gonna go in and make this a glitter acrylic because like why is it not <laughs> it came out of a an acrylic kit it is a model ones acrylic kit and I think that there are two glitters in the kit that are not glitter acrylics and they should be so yeah <laughs> So the key with tricolor ombres and really any ombre is to make sure that you are making sure the edges of each colored acrylics that you're using are as thin as possible. You want to make sure you blend the edges. You do not want a stark line of demarcation. Now, I did not do the best when I was doing these ombres and that is because I knew I was going to be going over them with gel paint. I think that's the key here. Um, I would have gone in and perfected them if I knew I wasn't going to be covering them. I did not want to overwork myself. So I did what was necessary to get the color onto the nails, knowing that I was going to go in with gel paint on top of them. And I really like the gel paint that I'm using on top of it. It is from Savvy Land and I really enjoy this set. I've been meaning to buy some more gel paint, but I really like the gold and the silver in this gel paint set. And so like, it's kept me from buying more. That's totally weird. I need to just go ahead and do it. <laughs> so as you saw, I went in and I added some clear acrylic to all of the ombre nails. Now I'm going in to do the glitter. I did wait till the last minute to do the glitter because I knew the glitter was going to get everywhere and I did not want it to affect my other nails. So I waited to do the glitter and after I apply the glitter, I will be applying clear and then we'll be all done with the application portion of this nail set. After that, I will be going in to file and shape and buff the nails. I start off with my hand file. It is a 100, 180 grit nail file and I use that to crispen up the edges but I also really like using my hand file to go over the entire nail. I do a lot of hand filing and then 
I remove the bulk with my e-file if there is bulk and perfect things even more with my e-file so an e-file is really an accessory to the hand file I do a lot with the hand file I love that click 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 part I don't know if it's just me I just like <laughs> I just like it <laughs> but anyways like I said I'm going in with my hand file now then I'll be going in with my e-file after I go in with my e-file I will brush some of the dust away from the nails and then i will go in with my buffing block i will buff the nails and then i'll go in with swipe on a lint free wipe to clean off the nails before i go in with matte top coat i will be doing the gel paint portion on top of matte nails i really like doing that because when you work on top of matte nails it really keeps it from bleeding if you work on top of nails that have base coat sometimes the gel paint and gel polish they will bleed a little bit it just means the lines won't be as crisp i like going in on top of matte top coat because i get some crisp lines so for the gel paint portion of the nails these nails are really french tips they're all french tips so even though i did the ombre on them i'm going to start off with a french on all of the nails and then i'm going to go in with the gel paint to do some like swiggle swirls swiggle swirls yeah i'm gonna call them swiggle swirls <laughs> and i think i did too many of them is really what it boils down to i did not love these looking back on the nails because i think i went in with too many swirls i think i should have gone in with fewer but let me know what you think would you wear these nails have you done a nail set like this? Have you seen a nail set like this? Towards the end, I will show you again the inspo for this nail set. But you let me know, what do you think of this? What do you think of the application? What would you have done differently or what did you like about this? If you have a recommendation for a nail set that you would like to see me do, please let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All the products that I am using are linked down below. Please stay tuned for the final look of this set. Thank you so much for watching.